In Matthew 9 we read, When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. A friend of mine made the comment the other day that for much of his ministry he's got a real heart of an evangelist. That he's focused his attention in that passage on the harvest, on uh, trying to ask God to increase the harvest. And then he said he realized that the story isn't about the harvest, it's about the workers. The prayer here is that the Lord will send out workers into his harvest field. Another friend of mine mentioned to me the other day that they met someone who follows us online uh, and they love our church. And, you know, I'm a preacher, so you kind of go, well, maybe they love our church because they love all the online sermons. But it turns out it's not the online sermons they love. What they love is the reputation, the story uh, that surrounds our church about our attempts to care for the poor. It's it's the baby safe home, Tandasana. It's the feeding scheme. It's mission box. It's the gate ministry. It's the soup kitchen. It's the attempt to alleviate suffering in our world. That's what grabbed that person. I've heard other stories like it. And I'm not trying to blow our own trumpet here in any way. Uh, we, if you don't know our church, we're a very humble community. We're, we're a relatively small community. Uh, we are an imperfect community. But the thing that lingers, the thing that witnesses, the thing that speaks, it's not the preacher. It's the laborers who are in the field and who do the work.